Okay, so let's do meditation. So everybody just relax. Take a deep breath in and relax. Continue to follow your own breath. Deep breath. Just as much as you can. Take a deep breath in. And when you cannot breathe in anymore, then let it all out. And continue to do this. Continue to start to elongate your breath. But no need to um, stretch too much. Just elongate a little bit, but without straining yourself too much. So let it be effortless. Let it be easy so that you can relax more every time you breathe in. Breathe in wonderful, peaceful, supportive energy every time you breathe out. Breathe out anything that does not support you anymore. Breathe out all the concerns, worrying, tiredness, whatever that does not support you. And breathe in new possibilities. And just keep on doing this just a little bit longer. And at the same time, I want you to imagine that you're stepping inside an, an energetic elevator. Just imagine yourself stepping in at the top of your head. And in this energetic elevator, there is a button that has the symbol of your heart in it. So press that button and allow the elevator to close its doors and let this energetic elevator take you all the way into your heart as quickly or as slowly as it is appropriate for you to really shift from being in your head to being in your heart. Focus on your heart. Allow your heart to become more energized by your attention. And when you are focused on your heart, also know that you're no longer focusing on all the chatters that's in your mind as well. So time to let go and just focus on your heart and focus being in your heart. And just visualize and imagine yourself stepping outside this energetic elevator and being in your heart completely. Imagine your heart being your sacred temple however you want your sacred temple to look, it's up to you. Whatever it is that inspired you to feel, to feel more sacred, to feel like you in this space that is especially made for you. And just imagine your heart being that place. Allow this place to be as comfortable as possible because in your sacred space, you are comfortable. So when you're in your heart, Feel love, feel unconditional, sacred love 
for yourself. Feel this absolute unconditional love. Completely holding you and surrounding you in your heart. And when you feel this warm, unconditional love around you, then start to send a beam of this love from your heart all the way down to the middle of earth, the middle of Mother Earth. Send love to Mother Earth into the middle of earth where the consciousness of mother earth is and here when you send love to mother earth know that mother earth will send love back to you and so allow yourself to feel the love of mother earth connecting with your heart Feel the supportive energy of Mother Earth filling your heart completely. And at the same time, send a beam of unconditional love from your heart up through the top of your head to the sky all the way into the middle of the sun, into the consciousness of Father Sky, the sun, the star of our solar system. It also holds the consciousness of the whole solar system as well. Send love to Father Sky and feel the love and support of Father Sky coming back to you. Feel the love of Father Sky and Mother Earth coming together in your heart, supporting you giving you an extra boost of energy, all the energy that you need. And just be in this energy and feel the support and love, the warmth, the infinite possibilities that is possible when you are supported. And feel that within your heart. And now let's play a game. Let's play a game. Let's play a game and this game is to go back into your childhood. Just imagine that you can turn back, turn back time and go back to when you are a young child. How young? It's up to you. What I want you to do is pick, or just, if you don't remember, then just imagine yourself being, well, let's say three or five years old, does not matter. Just being a young child again. And pick it to be a, an absolutely fun and enjoyable 
place where you are now your young child self again, where you can go back and visit yourself in a happy memory. And if you don't remember anything when you were young, then just imagine it. Just make it up. Use your imagination. And if you can remember, then remember it. Pick a wonderful, happy memory. And imagine yourself being in a place where you feel most comfortable and secure and loved. Imagine yourself being that little boy or little girl that you used to be when you were three or five years old or however old you imagine yourself to be. And imagine this younger version, this much younger version of yourself, full of energy, full of imagination. And imagine this younger version of yourself building a sand castle. Imagine this younger version of you just playing in the sand, whether it is by a beach or just in a playground, in a pit, in a sand pit. Either way you would do, but just imagine this younger version of you creating something. And imagine that what this younger version of you are doing is really creating the house that he or she wants to live in one day and allow her imagine or his imagine, allow this young child, that young version of you to be as creative as possible. Does not have to worry about anything about you know, having money or not. Just have to play and create. And to imagine the house and use sand to build the house that this younger version of yourself wants to live in one day. What would that house look like? Would it be a square house or a round house? Or any other shape? Would it be a tall building? or a shorter building? How big would it be? How many rooms? It does not matter. Just allow this young version of yourself to play with imagining and just visualizing this young version of yourself using sand, using little hands to put sand in a bucket or a cup, some mold that will help this young version of yourself to create this house. Create any house that this young version of yourself wants. It can be as elaborate, it can be a castle, or it can be something very simple. 
It can be something that is on top of a mountain or by the water. It's all in this young version of yourself, all in imagination. And just be with this young version of yourself and witness all the creativity and joy that this young version of yourself is having, just playing and just creating and just trying new things out. If it doesn't work, that's fine. Just go and build another version. Everything is just play. And just imagine this young version of yourself creating different stories from the house that he or she has created. Who is going to live in this house? What other people will be there? What other friends will visit? in this house, all different stories. What would this young version of yourself want to do? Would there be a garden? Would there be a pond in this house? All the little details. Allow this young version of yourself to just be absolutely creative and enjoy creating and imagining and using the sand to just create a model of what this young version of yourself is thinking in his or her mind. And after that, after this young version of yourself has created it, just imagine that you can actually talk to this young version of yourself and ask, and ask this young version of yourself to tell you and explain to you what it is that he or she wants to create and what are the reasons or the stories that he or she has made up in order for her to pick this particular house to create rather than something else. Could be something as playful as this house is just the size of my bucket or this house is just next to the grass and just listen to this younger version of yourself vividly explain to you and talk to you and communicate with you and share with you all the thinking, all the stories that he or she is thinking about and having so much fun creating it. And while you are talking to this young version of yourself, tell this young version of yourself one of the things that you really want to create in your life as well. And ask how your young version
we want to create it with his or her creative imagination what would he or she has done differently and just communicate with this younger version much more creative version of you You may be surprised that this creative and young version of yourself may have something to contribute to how you may be able to manifest what you want. And now that you have had some time to talk to this young version of yourself, just have fun with this young version of yourself. And know that this young version of yourself, when he or she looks into your eyes, that all they can see is just unconditional love. And so now it is time to say goodbye and just hold this young version of yourself, give him or give her a hug, and then just say goodbye. We'll see you again. We'll see each other again and we'll exchange some more creative ideas in the future. For now, I love you and I love the house that you have created. It's the best house ever. when you have said goodbye, then just imagine that you're walking away from this younger version of yourself. And you're just taking in the deep breath and then let it all go. And take in another deep breath and let go. And take in the third deep breath. Let it all out. And when you're ready, open your eyes and come all the way back into the room. Thank you so much for joining me in this meditation. Thank you.